Today we're going to turn some glass bottles into storage jars. This video is sponsored by Storyblocks, formerly known as Graphic Stock, and is one of the places where I get a lot of my stock images and graphics, and I actually use some of those graphics later in this project. Nika Coffee Grain Whiskey is my favorite, and I, well, <laughs> hate to admit it, but I have accumulated quite a few of the bottles. So I decided to see if I could use this standard unit of waste and turn it into a nice set of storage jars. I used my tile saw to cut the bottles. I just slowly rotated them across the blade and they cut nice and clean. I then used my belt sander to clean up the edges and round them over just a little bit so that nothing would be too sharp. For my first set of lids, I rolled out some plasticine modeling clay and then placed one of the cut bottles right into it and then trimmed the clay around the bottle. The result is a soft clay prototype of a lid. I then rolled out some more clay and made a dam around the lid. I left about half an inch of space between the lid and the dam. I then mixed and poured some Mold Star 30 from Smooth On. This is a silicone mold making material that I use quite often. I poured it right into the clay molds and once it had set up, I just removed the clay and I had two nice silicone molds that were ready for concrete. For my first set of lids, I used Quickcrete Countertop Mix in white. I used my orbital sander to vibrate the air bubbles out of the concrete and I used a putty knife to smooth down the tops. After letting the concrete cure for 24 hours, I popped them out of the molds and placed them on the jars. I also made some using the readily available mix Quickcrete 5000. Now for this concrete mix, it's helpful to remove some of the larger pieces of gravel out of the concrete so that none of the rocks poke out. Next up, I decided to try making some wooden lids using my Carby 3D carving machine from Inventables. I just put some scrap 3 quarter inch thick maple and walnut boards into the machine, drew up some circles, and very quickly was able to make some nice wooden lids. Now I did need to do just a little bit of sanding to smooth some of the rough edges, and then I finished them with a food grade wooden countertop finish. Now every time I finish a bottle of whiskey, I know that I get another one of these nice little apothecary jars that all match together on my shelves. I wanted to see if I could take this project to the next level though, and so I went on to graphic stock, which is now storyblocks.com, and I went and found some really cool sort of retro looking labels and badges. I downloaded these in a vector file format and then made a few modifications in Illustrator and then re-uploaded them to Easel which drives my carving machine. Storyblocks is a pretty awesome resource that has high quality photos, vector images, icons, graphics, and much much more. Click on the link in the description box below and you can get a 7 day free trial. We're giving away 7 free days with access to more than 400,000 images. Combining a huge database of stock graphics with the capabilities of a machine like Carvey really creates unlimited options for all sorts of projects. For more detailed information, check out our website, and if you want to see what we're working on next, be sure to follow us on Instagram. Check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.